Our hobby isn't exactly the best for the environment. A lot of our products generate e-waste. Today's coveted graphics card is, is tomorrow's trash. Fortunately, some people are looking into how we can reduce our impact on the environment. One way is using second-hand parts. And Hardware Sugar does keep a list of second-hand items that we're selling. Another way is by reducing the actual waste of the items. Enter Streacom's TX13 Thermal Paste, which was designed with zero waste in mind. You should know that the brand sent us this item for review, but had no say in what we had to say about it. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com But really, how much waste can thermal paste actually generate? Actually, quite a lot. There's the cardboard, there's the tube that the TP comes in, there's the foil and whatnot. There's the actual thermal paste itself, which a lot of us don't really use, so we're given too much of it when we purchase. The excess stuff builds up, but the TX13 doesn't have that problem. Everything has been stripped down to the bare minimum. It comes in a recycled cardboard sleeve, and there are five sachets inside. And for every purchase of the TX13, Streacom sponsors tree planting. So on the environmental front, the TX13 is pretty good. Is the paste itself any good? We tried it on four different coolers, including my personal rig, which is an R7 3700X with a Kraken X53. So I've been using it for more than a month now, and temps have been pretty good. And the CPU has been fine. Most of my temps are around mid-50s, even on load. The highest it's gone is maybe the occasional above 60. We also stress-tested the TX13 with the i9-12900K. So we used three different coolers with that furnace of a CPU. As the baseline for the extreme test, we use a Kraken Z73, which is a 360mm AIO. And we used the stock paste of the Z73 because we wanted to compare it to the performance of the TX13. So for the performance test, we ran Cinebench R23 for 30 minutes and recorded the max temperature reached per AIO. The Kraken Z73 hit a maximum temp of 95 degrees. The other AIO that we tried was the MSI Meg Core Liquid 360. That was using a TX13 and it hit a maximum temperature of 97 degrees. Now this is a very extreme test. The i9-12900KF is not a beast that you'll see often in the wild, let alone being asked to run at maximum speed for 30 minutes. You can see though that the performance of the TX13 is very close to the baseline that we set with the Kraken Z73. So its performance was quite in the ballpark that we would expect even in a performance setting. Interestingly, we actually tried another cooler, a deep cool AIO, with, also with a 360mm rad, and we got even better cooling. This was also using the TX13 as the paste. However, we can't share that cooler yet because it's on embargo, but if you're curious, check out our review coming out May 25. Bottom line, is the TX13 good for the environment, and is it a good thermal paste? For the environment, yes, definitely. Actually, the design of the TX13 really opened my eyes to how much waste was involved in a simple product like thermal paste. And the TX13 has really stripped that all down to the bare minimum. Performance-wise, yes, actually I'm quite satisfied. I have not replaced the TX13 on my personal rig. For performance folks, don't worry, the TX13 will deliver the cool. We're giving this guy 4.5 candies out of 5. If you're interested in more thermal paste stuff, we do have a thermal paste roundup of 5 very cheap thermal pastes or a shootout between six premium types of thermal paste. So those are two different videos linked in the description below and above. TFW. And check back May 25 for our review of that mysterious deep cool AIO. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin to na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.